hi uh, this is the second video on the topic permutation and combinations in the topic permutation and combinations we are looking at uh, the digit based questions so in the earlier video we have covered we have uh, introduced the topic and we have uh, uh, studied about the digit based type of questions so in this video uh, we are going to apply the concept which that we have studied in, uh, in the video uh, earlier so uh, let us start with it uh, the, the question states that we need to find the sum of all the digits in decimal representation of all positive integers less than 1000 so what it means is so first step is all the positive integers less than 1000 that means we are dealing with integers from 1 to 999 now these integers in the decimal representation that means 1 is represented as 1.02 is represented as 2.03 is represented as 3.0 so 123 is represented as 123.0 so when these are represented in, de in the decimal representation, we need to find the sum of all the digits. Sum of all the digits here is 1, for this integer it is 1, for this integer it is 2, for this integer it is 3, for this integer it is 6. So we need to find all this summation of 1, 2, 3, 6. So for all the integers we need to do it. So the key point to solve this question is, we need to understand that all the integers that are written will contain digits so if we know How many times a digit will be used while writing the numbers from one to thousand? We can get the answer. Say if I know that you, uh, digit 5 is used 300 times then we need to add 5 300 times. That is what the question is about. We need to find sum of all the digits in decimal representation of used in the decimal representation of all the positive integers less than 1000. So as per the point which we have studied in the last video which says that say if for integers from 1 to 1000 each digit two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9 will appear 300 times. And 1 will appear 301 times. So this is, this key point is for the integers from 1 to 1000 but in this question it says integers less than 1000 so here it is triple nine so for triple nine if, if the, for, for the integers from one to triple nine each digit including one till nine will appear 300 times
it won't one won't appear 301 time it will appear 300 times so 1 into 300 1 is appearing 300 times so we need to add 1 300 times 2 300 times we need to appear we need to add 3 300 times similarly 9 300 times so adding all these things will give 300 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus till 9 so it is 300 into sum of 9 consecutive national numbers is 9 into 10 divided by 2 2 5 it is 45 so 300 into 45 is the answer it is 13500 the key to solving this question is understanding that all the digits that are used in forming the these integers from 1 to 999 in the decimal representation should be added so if we know how many times each digit is appearing so we, it will be easy for us to add those things so that is what we have done here now let us look at another question so uh, in this question itself if it is from 1 to 1000 it will simply be 1 will um, come 301 times and the rest of the things are 300 times so you can add there add it and get the answer now let us look at another question it says that how many integers from 1 to 1000 will have digit 5 appearing at least once so again the concept which we have learned in the last video says that for every consecutive 100 natural numbers for every consecutive 100 100 natural 100 100 natural 100 numbers each digit will appear twenty times in nineteen numbers. So from one to hundred digit five will appear twenty times in nineteen numbers. Similarly from say two hundred to two hundred it is same it will appear in 19 numbers and from say 200 to 300 again it will appear in 19 numbers except from 500 to 600 which I have discussed in the last video here it will appear 120 times in 100 numbers So we what we need to do is 19 multiply it with say 9 which is 171 and the other 100 so add 100 over here so in 271 numbers are there in which 5 appears at least once at least once means it appears once it can it can appear twice and it can appear thrice. So this is the way to solve this question. Now there is another method as well to solve these questions which is purely permutation and combination way of solving this question. So total numbers are 10 cube minus 1 because say uh, we, will, we will start with this. Uh, here we have, we can fill it with anything from 0 to 9 here we can fill it anything from 0 to 9 and here we can we can fill it from anything from 0 to 9 so it is 10 cube and in one of the numbers it will be 0 0 0 for this combination so we need to subscribe subtract it so it is 10 cube minus 1 these are the total numbers that can be formed using the digits and we will we'll subtract this with the digit that do not have 5 so here except excluding 5 we have 
nine options to fill here nine options to fill here nine options to fill here and in one of the options it will be zero 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 so we need to subscribe subtract it so it is nine cube minus one so for at least once would be total minus none so total is 10 cube minus 1 minus 9 cube minus 1 so again you are going to get the same answer 271 so there are two ways to solve this question but if you if you have watched the last video it would be easy for you to solve it because we, we need not go through all this stuff like total we need to calculate and then uh, we need to take care of the digits that do not have phi in them and then subtract to get the digits that have at least once at least five five appearing at least once so uh, it, it this method involves a few additional steps but if you have watched the earlier video you could you can arrive at the answer very fast now let us look at another question uh, so this question states that how many three digit numbers are there in which digit five is used exactly once so we are uh, specifically dealing with only three digit numbers and in which digit 5 is used exactly once so as we know that from 1 to 100 5 is used 5 appear 5 is used 20 times in 19 numbers out of these 19 numbers there is one number in which 5 is used twice which is nothing but 55 and the rest of the numbers it is used only exactly once so this, this is what the question is about he is asking the, in which the, we need to find how many 3D numbers are there in which digit 5 is used exactly once so from 100 to 200 which is where the 3 digit numbers start so there are it appears 20 times in 19 numbers we need to subs subtract one number from here we are getting 18 numbers why we are subtracted one number from here because in this number it is used twice our question says that we 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 need those three digit numbers in which five is used exactly once so that is why it is subtracted here now similarly from uh, 200 to 300 we will we'll get the same 300 to 400 also we will get the same 400 to 500 also we will get the same now from 500 to 600 also we will get the same no from 500 to 600 we will delete it with later uh, next from 600 to 700 we will get the same so 800, 700 to 800 also same thing and from 800 to 900 also same thing 900 to thousand is also same thing so one two three four five six seven eight so eighteen into eight this is for sure plus from five hundred to six hundred we need to find how many digit how many such numbers are there where there are total hundred numbers out of this how many are there where five is used exactly once so we need to know how many such numbers are there where 5 is used exactly once so out of this 100 it is used once it is used it can be used twice it can be used thrice as well so thrice there is one such number that is triple five twice there are 19 such numbers are there 19 or 20 so let us look at it more closely so we'll start with 505 it is used twice 515 525 595 so there are 10 but we have already taken one out so 9 in this next is from 550 to 550 one five fifty two till five fifty nine. So out of these things, 
555 will need to be counted so there are 10 numbers out of this 555 is already taken here so we will put 18 here out of 100 if we subtract 19 what are we going to get 100 minus 19 is 81 so it is 18 into 8 plus 81 let us complete this 18 8 size 18 8 144 plus 81 so there are 225 such numbers in which the digit 5 appears exactly once now let us look at another question this question it deals with the four digit numbers how many four digit numbers are there in which digit 5 is used exactly twice So it's a four digit number that means uh, there are four places out of which two places are occupied by digit five. That means out of 4 we can select any 2 to place 5 in those 2 places. This is nothing but we have 6 choices to do it. So let us look at those 6 cases. One of the cases is this. The other case is this. One of the cases is this. The other case is this. One of the case would be 5 here and 5 here. What, what would be the other case? Placing 5 here and 5 here. These are the 4. Oh, oh, this is a repetition. So we place 5 here and we place 5 at the end. So these are the four cases sorry six cases in which uh, uh, 5 is appearing exactly twice now let us solve uh, how many such numbers will be there for each case now let me take this case here this can be placed with except 5 everything else can come so 9 and 9 similarly here as well 9 and 9 Similarly here 9 and 9. Now here 8 because 0 and 5 cannot come here and 9 over here. Similarly here 8 and 9. Similarly here 8 and 9. So it is nothing but 81 into 3 plus 72 into 3 so this is nothing but 243 plus 72 into 3 is 216 so the answer is 459 so with this uh, we have most we have almost completed 80 percent of the questions from the digit based uh, type of format type of questions uh, from the topic permutation and combinations there are few more questions that will be dealt in the next video thank you for listening to me